Hello, this is Dan Letha, and for this video I thought I'd take a walk through my, my current art studio. I've been doing a lot of work lately, uh, getting it up and running because the Lord has moved me to a new ministry. And uh, so for this ministry I'm going to be working out of my home. And so I posted this picture with the announcement that I have a new job. And uh, some people had expressed interest in my, my new art studio and some of the tools and things that I have. So. I thought I'd do a quick walkthrough of that uh, this morning as I'm getting ready to go to church here. So um, we'll start from this side and kind of move on over. Um, one of the things that I use in the course of my drawing day is uh, sometimes I watch shows, TV shows or even movies sometimes, or I have something going on in the background so that while I'm working on my artwork, I can be listening and kind of focusing on other things. Sometimes I'll listen to audiobooks or sermons and things like that, but uh, anyway, I'm fully equipped over here to have TV shows on or something like that. And you might say, well, that, that would be a distraction, wouldn't it? Actually, if I've got a good story going on in the background and I'm working on my stuff over here, I am tuned into that story and it's keeping me focused on my artwork. Um, that's just how it works for me and it's a very, very effective tool to keep me focused and not distracted. So. Anyway, so I've got a Blu-ray player and a TV over here, and then um, over here we have my Wacom Cintiq. Now this is my graphics drawing tablet. This is how I draw on the computer, and I use programs like uh, Corel Painter or Photoshop or other things like that. And this uh, particular unit is a 24-inch uh, Wacom Cintiq, and it is a lovely, lovely drawing tool. I love it. It's a bit expensive. Um, and I might say that uh, most of the things that I have here in my art studio were not purchased new. I'm a garage sale junkie and so I, uh, I go out shopping a lot looking for particular things and the Lord has blessed and I've been able to acquire quite a few things that would be very expensive. Now this one wasn't bought at a garage sale, this was actually obtained through Craigslist and I got a very very good deal on it but uh, there's the, the pen that I use with it. and. Um, it allows me to draw a lot like I would on a, on a canvas or something like that. So um, I'll probably have videos in the future that go into more detail and maybe even kind of reviews of some of these things. But this is the computer that it's hooked up to. <clears throat> it's a, um, a MacBook Pro and it's uh, my computer that I use on the road. Very grateful and thankful to have that computer. Uh, over here, I have some things that might not look like art studio. Why would I have this in my art studio? I plan on making some YouTube videos, and so I need a microphone, high-quality microphone. This is a um, Blue Yeti microphone. Uh, a lot of people use those to make YouTube videos. And of course, in the background, I have some dinosaur skeletons and other uh, dinosaur models that are kind of fun for me and, and useful at times, too. And then I have a table right next to my computer setup, and uh, that's my voice recorder. I cannot live without my voice recorder. I uh, come up with ideas a lot, and sometimes uh, if I'm on a walk or I'm driving or something like that, I don't have time to, to record or to, uh, to write it down. So I'll just jot that down with um, my voice recorder real quick, and then I've got the idea to keep for later. And I've just got a few other things on this table here right next to me. There's a, an iPad and a little stand where I keep my phone. I'm recording with it right now. Um, I have my Bible and a little card from the memorial service for my dear friend, Dr. Tommy Mitchell. And here are uh, a number of, of papers that are organized for current projects that I'm working on or I have thinking about anyway. So. Uh, it's very important for me to have those things near and accessible and organized. So that's uh, very, very handy. Then over here, I have um, a scanning station. And the thing that's different about this scanner is that it's very, very large. Uh, I can scan paper or uh, artwork anyway from, I think it's uh, 11 by 17 or 14 by 17, one of the two. It's a large scanner and it's very old actually. I found this at a garage sale. And so I had to find a computer that would, would run it. And so that's an old, old uh, power book, uh, Macintosh power book. And I got this at a garage sale for like three bucks. It was crazy, crazy good deal. So that's my scanning station. <laughs> I bought that desk. Actually, I, the, I got the desk for free from a garage sale. 
Then I've got some uh, lights, lighting equipment that I have standing there ready to make videos with. Um, a little cubby here with some pieces and parts of things that I use on a, on a regular basis and so those are organized there. I've got uh, another dinosaur model there with some other stuff. That uh, This is a kind of a temporary studio and so um, hopefully in the future I'll be able to set up a better one. Uh, books are important to have around so there's some how to draw books, animation books, art books, things like that. I've got a, a green screen again for making videos in the future. Got some more um, uh, organizational materials, some folders that I carry around with me. If you ever see me walking around, I usually have one of those with some papers and stuff in it. Um, some supplies, folders and things like that, uh, papers. Now this, this shelf right here actually has some materials on it from the ministry that I've just joined. So there's a little hint. Okay. Um, and then I have a drawing board here. And uh, this drawing board is one that I uh, used at art school. Actually, just for, for fun, this drawing board right here I used for my first year in art school. And then this one took me through years two and three of my years at the Joe Kubert School. So, But uh, on my art table, I have a drawing board. So I draw on that. And then underneath that uh, drawing board, I have a light box. And man, they make them really thin these days. And so that's an LED light box, a very, very valuable tool that uh, I get a lot of use out of. And so that's my drawing board, and a big lamp on top. And then I've got some more uh, stands that I use for attaching cameras too, because I'll be doing some drawing videos. Um, then I've got a microphone there too for making some of those videos as I draw. So more books and then Here's another very curious thing that you might uh, be interested in. Um, one of the hazards of being an artist, along with other professions too, is that you end up sitting a lot. And so um, I wanted to get exercise during the day and movement, and uh, sometimes you have to sit. So um, I've come up with this uh, exercise bike. Now there's a, a blanket on there that, that maybe I should move so you can see it better. This blanket is awesome, by the way, giving me some friends. It's uh, uh, got some Peanuts comic strips on it, and I use it on cold days. So there's my uh, exercise bike, and it's at a desk, so I can set my computer there, and I can ride the bike while I do some research and uh, looking around on the internet. And then there's another screen I can hook up my, my computer to, so I've got a dual screen setup. And then there's some more books shelf space and uh, some figures that uh, I like for a little inspiration. And uh, so that's kind of the quick run through of my current art studio. So feel free to make comments and ask questions. And like I said, sometime down the road, I'll probably be giving a more in-depth look at some of the things that I use as an artist. But uh, this is a general flyover for this morning and my new setup for my, my new job. So. I'm grateful to the Lord for all these things that he has blessed me with. All right, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're interested in my videos and have a good day.